So what the Milan CEO did yesterday was bring to the public a fight between the payers, the pharmacy benefits managers, the whole drug supply chain, and the drug companies that usually takes place behind closed doors. And this really affected the stocks of the rest of the supply chain yesterday. Uh, the Pharmaceutical Care Management Association, the trade group for pharmacy benefits managers, came out with a statement responding yesterday afternoon, looping Milan in with Valiant and Martin Shkreli's company Turing, saying that Milan is simply the latest drug maker trying to reframe the pricing problem into a coverage problem. They say blaming payers for these massive price increases is a red herring and doesn't pass the laugh test with policymakers. We also talked with the Express Scripts chief medical officer, Dr. Steve Miller, yesterday, who issued a challenge to Milan. Listen to this. We would love to see lower drug prices. We pass the, the savings that we take from the marketplace back to our plans, and so I challenge her, she can lower the price today and we'll make sure that our patients get lower co-pays and our plans pay lower prices. Because of course, Heather Bresch was making the argument that the system incentivizes higher prices right. on branded so, drugs. But is that true? So this is what I was trying to understand is, if you think about the margin of all these other players, you remember that graphic that we showed? She yes. The five different hands, it, yeah. if you will, and maybe we can show it right now, that touch this. Mm -hmm. That's effectively 50% of the price yes. of this drug, if not more. More. Right. And so then the question is, how, how do you actually fix that component of it? Not to say that you well, can't reduce. She should be reducing the price, too. I'm not. I, so, I so your question assumes that this is accurate and the industry is now pushing back on this. Uh, we have a note out this morning from Evercore ISI, Ross Mukin, who covers the distributors and the PBMs. And he's saying this is an oversimplification. What he says is the supply chain is absolutely not earning more than half the economic profits here, not even close. And so there is an argument that this w wasn't correct. And as the price goes up and she takes margin, are they taking margin too? Is that what's happening? Well, we don't really know, but the assumption is yes. Uh, the PBMs are pushing back on that. They say they pass the savings on to the payers, the insurers, and then, of course, the employers. Um, but the argument of the drug right. industry is that the PBMs, they make money by negotiating bigger discounts Andrew, on drugs. I mean, this is, this is all like an absurd discussion because both company, both types of companies should be trying to maximize profits. What should be stopping them is competition. Correct. That, that, okay, so okay. so when when like the PBM points and says, no, no, you're the one trying to maximize profits. And then and then Heather Bresch says, no, no, it's them. They're the ones trying to make more money. Both of them should be trying to make more money. That's what they do. There has to be competition. When we'd love to puts, see more competition, but I'm just trying to under I'm trying to understand. But otherwise you're you're left with trying to decide what's a fair margin. There you are again. Are they trying to boost margins? No. Yes, they're trying to boost okay, margins. Okay, but I was gonna go to a separate question. One of the things she talked about yesterday was the fact that she gives away um, EpiPens to schools for free. Right. Right. And this was part of the question that Brian was asking about the lobbying that was going on and how they've lobbied now also to make these things available to businesses who I assume they're also not giving it away. I assume they're not giving it away for free. How many of these things do we think they really are? No, because you could make an argument. Look, you have to, there has to be a profit incentive. You need the margin on one side. If you are somehow this altruistic pharmaceutical company giving all this stuff away free, I was trying to understand, in fact, how much of this stuff she really- subsidizing innovation in the rest of the right. world. I was trying to figure out how much of it is she really giving away for free? How much is she really innovating? I was I trying to look at all the pieces. I think they put out a number saying they'd given, what was it, 750,000 EpiPens right. away for free? I think I saw that. I'll double check on it and make sure that was right. Um, but the argument of the payers is that that obfuscates the patient assistance programs, the copay coupons right. obfuscates the actual issue right. of the drug prices. Uh, but I think Joe makes a valid point. Myelin isn't unique in raising the price of a drug in this way. A lot of companies do it, and it's some company then suddenly gets this kind of attention paid to it, and suddenly they're evil and greedy. I think what the drug industry is concerned about is it's go is going to start spreading to the rest of the industry. And now, of course, the, the middlemen, who we don't talk about as much, we don't look at their role as much, they're starting to get attention. So to. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.